Okay. Um, Parshas B'Shach, it's a lot to uh, talk about. Um, but I want to I want to start I want to go backwards. I want to work backwards. Uh, we'll start from Akasha from uh, you know towards the end of the parsha. You know after the uh, dramatic event of uh, of Kriyas Yamsuf. So it says. You know, Vas Moshe says saw me am so very so mid bar shuv ech shos me mid bar v'lo matzu mayim. They went three days and they couldn't find water. Okay, so the uh, they couldn't find water. So the so as uh, the Gemara Baba Kama says that uh, they went three days without water. That means went three days without learning Torah. So that's why in Mora, you know, so Vayera Shem Eitz, which is a remez to Tu B'Shvat that the Svarim always bring down. They got mixus parshas yis asku behem. Different lashon of Chazal. What's kibudav or paradu? The other two are Shabbos and dinim. They had to get and and from that you know uh, to have some turn to be ois again. From that says the Gemara in Baba Kama that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu was metakin. We have to lane betzibur three times a week. You know, it could be an Ezra came and made it dafka Mondays and Thursdays, but the. Uh, but it's right from the time Moshe Rabbeinu chach three days, t- three times a week. That way, you won't ever go three days without learning Torah. No. So the question is very simple: They went their whole lives without learning Torah. <laughs> you know, it, it is three days from Kriyas Yamsuf. When was the last time they learned Torah? Right. Last time they learned Torah, so they got the parsha of Achor Zilchem. They got the Tzivi of Korban Pesach at the beginning of the month. Right. And what was the time before that they learned Torah? Never, mm-hmm. right? Never. Right. Was, uh, all of a sudden, they can't go three days without learning Torah. But it was, uh, you know, it was three days from Kriyas Yamsuf. They can't go three days without learning Torah. Yeah, and uh, before Kriyas Yamsuf, they weren't learning Torah either. Yeah, they've they gone. Yes, yeah, so, so I was going to say that. No, it wasn't Torah given yet. No, it's say they was given at Mora to to solve this problem yeah. that they, they should have mis us mitzas parshis shis asku behem. They should have some things to you know be oisikin. So so, uh, so he goofed that that shows that they really didn't have Torah yeah, to learn. Torah to learn that altogether. So it just said traditional study, whatever they got from the elders. Well, yeah. So what's it? Yeah. What does it mean? I said, what was the last time I learned Torah before Mora? You know, weeks ago. And that wasn't just three days out there. It was, uh, you know, since, you know, they got the parsha of Chodesh Shel Chem, and what was the Why time before that? Never. Together? Maybe it's because they wanted they to forget the newly stuff that they just started learning. Is that? Yeah. All right, so that's the, uh, that's, uh, that, that, that needs clarification. You know, Pito, Master, you know, Chodesh they can't go three days without learning. All right, they went their whole lives without learning, yeah. Wasn't like that. Prior to that, they were learning every three days. So now, the Yitzias um, Mitzrayim culminates with Kriyas Yamsuf, which uh, you know, Amisol did something very interesting. They said Shira, right? And that's uh, why uh, you know this uh, this parsha is you know, and what this Shabbos is called Shabbos Shira. In some shuls, they have the minog that even Pesukei Zimra also they read the whole thing, uh, mila b'mila, like by you know in a in a nigun like Kriya Satira. Mm-hmm. You know, there is a you know, like the Tom that we say it by. Uh, you know, so the question is, uh, you know, what happened? You know, they they got inspired and they said Shira, <laughs> right? Something that they didn't do by the Nisei Mitzrayim, right? So it's like, what's the end of this shira that they say? And the shira got written into the Torah. And it's also very, very interesting. Anyone who sees how it's written in the Sefer Torah will see that it's very spaced out. The psukim of the shira are very... Uh, oh, it's, uh, poetry. Yeah, it's poetry. A lot of space. A lot of space. It's something interesting to be omit on. All right, so now the... Uh, so there's a Rashi that, uh, you know, on the words, Oz Yashir Moshe. Right. shira. When so was Oz Yashir, when he saw the nace, it rose up in his heart to say Shira. 
right? V'chein oz yidar b'yoshua, v'chein b'ay siyasa l'bas paro. All these l'shoinahs of, you know, with the l'shon atid, where it was, it occurred to him to do it, and then he did it. Choshev libo shiyasa, afkan, yoshir. Omolo libo shiyoshir, his heart was telling him to sing. V'chein osa. Vayomru lemo shiyoshir b'naft, and that's what it means. Then shiyos os, vayomru lemo is the actual saying of it. The first is this like his urus. That's Oz Yashir Moshe Ziz Oros. Then Vayom Rulaymor is to actually say it. Right? V'chein Vishu Kshoras Omelo Libo Shi Yidaber. His heart told him. V'chein Oz Vayom Rulaymor is to actually say it. V'chein Shira Saber Shmach Oz Yashir Pirish Achrav Ali Be'er Enula. This Enula is what they actually said, what they actually recited. Oz Yivne Shlomo Boma. So Pirushu Bo Chachmei Sashem Bikesh Shifnos Lobana. Right, you know, so over there also, Oz, Yivne, all these little shyness, then he will, then he will. It's all going on, the thought, the contemplation to do it. So by Shlomo, he thought to do it, he didn't actually do it. Lamanu, right. <clears throat> we learn from all these instances, all these psukim that I brought, where the Jewish on all of them is the same, that there was a hisurus in Machshava, and then followed suit, with the exception of Shlomo, that he had these Urus, but he didn't follow suit, that the Yud, the letter Yud, of, of, that makes it Binyan Atid, right, is the Hoshema um, Machshava Nemra. The Yud that makes it is that refers to the Machshava that the person had. Vizeli Yashib Pshuto. And this is all in Poshib Shat, says Rashi, that Oz Yashir Moshe, is the machshava to, uh, and then vayom rulemor is when they actually said. Avom midrasho amur rabbi says the chorn rocham mikan remes l'tchias amesim in atara. Oz yashir Moshe again in the future. It's a remes to tchias amesim. V'chein bekulam, and you could also touch also in all the other pesukim I brought. It's all remazim for tchias amesim. Also, chutz v'yishal shol shepirshu because live nos v'lo bana. Right. Right, except for the one by Shlomo, it's not going to be around the Tzchia because not to, it's talking about that he didn't actually do what he thought he would do. All right, um. <clears throat> All right so, I mean, Rashi goes on to defend this pshat, that, there was, that you have to say this pshat, that it's al shem do machshava, or it's al shem... It's not dumb, sometimes where even present tense is also said sometimes in future tense. Rashi says why. Uh, he defends his pshat. I just want to understand the pshat gufa. All right, pshat number one, right? That the, he thought about doing it and then he did it. Man ishtana, the, this and the other examples brought, from anything that you do. I mean, you should think before you sing. You should think before you talk. You should think before you do. It's like, yeah, there's all a you know, all a belibo, right? And then he did it. <laughs> Anything that you do, shelo behergel, you know, not out of habit, is that way. Like, what's different over here? I said, it's all a belibo shiyoshir. And it's all murmurs in the letter yud, al shema machshava, right? Okay, so, so just trying to get, you know, the, the poshim shad and what that's all about, right? And the same thing, you know, remez l'tchia samesim. Why here? Why by Korea Siyam so Shira Sayam, I should say. Right? It's it's the remes, you know, for uh for Triasamesim. So the question, what's the end of the Shira? What's the shot that they had the Ola Belibo before he actually sang? You know, like what's the Khirish in that? Every anything that, you know, is uh that you do that's thought out, you should think first and then do. Like what's the Khirish and it's Murma's letter Yud, and why here the Remes the Triasamesim? No, it's the Now that you're going to say again in the future. All right, look. Well, let's all look. Well, I'll, I will say something a little bit more, a little bit more particular. Maybe the singing now is to prepare for the singing of the future. We'll, we'll talk about it. You know, I'll just raise a question. You know, all answers are good. I'll say what, you know, what we want to propose. But, but, but I would just one more, just two more questions before we uh, start unraveling. It says, 
Right, so Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, he, waved, you know, he raised his hand, and the water went back at daybreak le'etano to its original strength. Right, Chazal darshin al tikre le'etano el litnao. You know, etano is oisius tnai, tnao. Right, the Akosh already made a condition with kriyas yamsuf that you know, with the yam that it will have to be nikar of So by shesh may brachas, he already made a precondition that tnai. That has to be subject to uh, to splitting. All right, so this you know, is a very complicated sugya. Right, that the um, yeah that all the rishonim are bothered by. The rishonim is big boss. He doesn't have to make a precondition that with my sabrachas that they should be willing to have nisim happen to them. Well, what's the <laughs> function of the tanai? But not only that, but the same mokum in mokur and medr says all nisim were that way. All nisim. Akkurish Baruch Hu, by my sabrachas, by shesh may brachas, made it tonight with all the kochos of teva, that they should be willing to be makabel nisim, which means, looking back, you know that means also the nisim niglim that happened up to this point, like the asaramakas, not asaramakas, I meant to say, and the and, and all the oisus that Moshe Benu did was also mitzad the tonight. So why why is the remez to the you know in the Torah, right? That the uh, that that there's a tnai with teva. Why is it only being revealed by Kriyas Yamsov? It was true by all nisim. So all the nisim that we saw since being of Sefer Shmos, all the nisim niglim, we should have had a gilui, you know, a remez over there. Like you're, you're halfway through the game, you know, in the story of the nisim. And yeah, so it's it's by Kriyas Yamsov that's being this gala. Right? It's something which you know we have to understand. There's another problem with the with the remez. Right, but if it's a precondition, so it has to happen no matter what. It's like almost like a grid. Yeah. Yeah, but seemingly it would have been true, you know, about the nisim that happened in Mitzrayim also, because it's. Yeah, you'll have to answer what pia also means also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. The uh, so now there's also a problem with the remes, and that's the. Uh, the Pashpashat is going back to its original strength, i.e. it went back to being liquid. Right. And that's the remez to the Tanai. What do you mean? That the, the, the Tanai should have been when the water split. You know, the remez to the Tanai should be when the water split. Because the Tanai the Teva should be Makabal Nisim. Right? So that's another kasha, you know, that the, seemingly the remez is in the wrong part of the story. Because there's a remez that, you know, that Chazal see it as a remez, that Chazal made it Tanai with my Bracious, that we split. So why do you put it by when the water went back to being normal? You should put this remez to when the water split. <laughs> right? So there's going by when the water went back. Right. So to get into all this, we have to decode the famous memory of Chazal that we say Leil Seder, you know, in the Haggadah Shel Pesach. Right? That Kama Laku Be'etzba Eser Makas Valyam Chamishim Makas and if you want to say Mitzrayim was Arboim, so on Yam was Masayim. And if you want to say on Mitzrayim was Chamishim, like Rabbi Akiva, so it's Matayim and Chamishim. Because whatever, whatever, whatever happened, you know, in Mitzrayim was five times as much as Kriya Why? Because it's an Etzba Elokimi by Makas Kinim. And we says, Vayayi Shosi Gdola. So the Maral already asked, you know, these uh, two obvious kashas. What are you talking Right, one maka alone was called etzba. Kinim alone was called etzba. Not all ten combined. Kinim alone, which means that the hechesbon is hafuch, ten fingers in Mitzrayim, only five by Yamsuf. One maka alone is already called you know etzba. Not all ten combined. Right, as his, as his first kasha, as, as another kasha. It says before by Makas Dever, Hine Yad Hashem Hoya Bebiknacha. He used the Lashon of Yad by Dever just the same. Right. Oh, this is the Torah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up on the Maron, is a on the Hagod. He raises this question. Right? Why? What's going on? Right? Good question. Okay. They give their like this. Is it a hand or a finger or both? What do you mean? 
What, what am I holding up? My hand or my finger? Okay. I'm holding up my hand, but only one finger is out. So okay. it's not a stira, according to that. You're, you're definitely on the right track. So listen, so let me ask you something. What was Paro thinking? What was Paro thinking? Especially after Makas Kinim, where the Khartoum say, Etz you know, Like, even below me by, uh, after Akash Baruch hardens his heart, still, but Akash will harden his heart. So he's still thinking, you know, I don't want to let the Jews go, even though Akash was manipulating him. What's he thinking? How's he explaining it? But also, there was plenty of, you know, was, he had a few Makas where he hardened his own heart all by himself, without any uh, divine assistance. What's he thinking? Especially by after Makas Kim, where they say, Etzpo Kim, they couldn't do it. You know, Khatoum able to imitate the first two, Vizel. What's, he, what's going through his head? Right, especially after, you know, here's, you know, even, you know, Kosh came before Akash will harden his heart. You know, what's he thinking? What's Paro thinking? Right? So the Maral says like this, a uh, very big yesot. You know, the difference between a finger and a hand, right, is not just a quantitative difference, that a finger is one and a hand is five. It's, you know, you know it, it, there, there's also a certain qualitative difference that's represented by the difference of between one and five, and a qualitative difference. There's a difference between the prat and the klau, right? The detail and a, and a, and a klau, a general principle. Right, All right. A detail, you know, you know, it's a, you know, it's bottled to a cloud. Every detail we try to fit it in, fit it into a cloud. That the, this prat is to this cloud. Right, All right. Now, if you have a detail that doesn't fit into any cloud, it's a yotzim in a cloud. You know what that's called? Exception. That's right. It's called an exception. Right. It's outside of cloud. But you know what it's called? It's called a mikra. It's called by incident. And I'll prove it to you. Because if it repeats itself over and over and over again, it'll be its own cloud. Mm-hmm. It'll be its own cloud. Right? <laughs> right? Because how do you make a cloud? How do you, how do you make a cloud? You see that some, you know, sir, know. there's a, a, how do you establish a cloud? You see that something is a principle. Right? So you see something repeats itself, and it's, it holds true consistently, you know, regarding a certain amount of things, you know, which we'll call a proto of that cloud, it holds true consistently regarding these, you know, protim that it's kylo. That's how you make a cloud, right? You see, that's consistent, right? The cloud is the opposite of the mikra. The mikra is something that just happens once and never happens again, right? Or is not expected to happen again anytime soon. It's, you know, it's, there's no cloud to it, right? We, in all scientific study, you know, they, they, they see how, th- you know, uh, they repeat the experiment. They see how the results repeat themselves. There are always times when, you know, they didn't get the expected result. Or carbon dating. Right. Well, I mean, that was a lot of things. So they dismiss it. You know, it's a mikra. It's a yotzim in a cloud, but it won't, they're not choshish for it because it won't repeat itself. Right. So it happened once in a while, freak accident. We don't know why. Right? And we don't have to be concerned why. Because mistoma, it's not going to happen again. So if everything happens consistently, it's a cloud. Right? So the mikra is a prat. Right? The thing that happens just once, once off. The yotzim in a cloud is a prat. A prat that doesn't belong to any cloud. Whereas other pratim generally are nichlal in klolim. Right? Mm-hmm. But that's it. You know, certain things happen. Freak accidents. You know, and a person shouldn't be paranoid. Over that. Milsa de lo shechicha lo gazru be rabbonan. We're not choshish for it. So Rabban weren't guys on the dover that's not shechiach. Right? It's an accident of nature. Right? There. So the. Uh, right. So I want to ask you when a nace happens, mm-hmm. when a nace happens, how do you I'm look at that? that? When a nace happens, how do you look at that? Uh, it's a yotem, it's yotem mechlal hateva. It's your yeah, time. Mach- I like made a contract already before. Before, before, before All right. You're before you're you're, you're you're already three steps ahead. Very good. So 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 it's it's not it's no longer a, a, a mikra. It's a klal in no, a mikra. Of something. You chop the whole thing. You chop the whole shit. Right. We go home. Now. Right. 
right? The, uh, what Paro was thinking is very simple. Okay, etzba lokimi. Etzba is a prat. Right? Etzba is opposed to yad. Not an etzba that belongs to a yad. Etzba. Right? Right? The, the makas in Mitzrayim, the way Paro explained it all the way, all right, there's some freaks of nature. Life will go on. Things will go back to normal. We're going through a tough spot. You know, Kedamri Inchi, Gamze Yavor. Right? It'll go. Yeah, but the fact that it affected Mitzrayim and it could affect the Jews, that's already been explained. He, 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 you're right, but you don't have to explain a Mikra. Don't you get it? You don't have to explain a Mikra. You don't have to be Yates, explain a Yotzim in a Klau. Hezberim means you're setting Klolin, you're establishing principles. All right, I can't explain it. So what? Won't last. It won't last. Now that's Mamash Deloshin Torah. Uh, Paro saw that the Maka finished. As low shas libo. He stopped paying attention. See, it told you it wouldn't last. Uh, it's just Mamash in the Psukim. And once the Maka stopped, so Paro's low shas libo. All right, I see it stopped. All right, so it was a Mikra. But it was also predicted by the Also predicted. Yes. This is that case that no, I'm not saying. You have to explain where Paro's coming from. So I'm not saying. Didn't you know. Paro have to go to Aaron to ask Moshe to stop the grasshoppers? Yeah, so like sometimes you had to beg. But once it stopped, you see it stopped. Right? So, so it was a mikra. Yes, to make it stop. I mean, you got it, made it stop. No, no, no don't get me wrong. Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, he, he was being an auction. Don't, don't, like, listen, don't get... He was being a big auction. He was being an auction. There's no... He viewed Moshe Rabbeinu as the biggest tradition of all time, and he needs to get him on his, on his favor side. So he waits until he really needs to, to be able to contact him. I was trying to understand, him. understand, uh, I was trying to understand that Hashem that, that helped Paro get over the, the sign of dealing with the... You know, each each one of the markers. I mean, well, that was later. Of course, it was Machazik Libo. He was ready, he was ready to break. So, but yeah, but it was initially he didn't even needed. Normally, yeah. he would have given up after each one, but Hashem hardened his heart. So yeah, no, but, but yeah, but after the, the but uh, but for the first few, he would harden his heart all by himself, himself. <laughs> right? The uh, but even afterwards, of course, was on. How Paul thinks it's his own idea. So you have to say, what's he thinking? Yavor. So even though there were ten fingers, as it were. Right, so, so that's why so that's why Paro got so uh, crazed out by the fact that Moshe Rabbeinu's staff turned into a snake and ate all the other snakes because it, was, it will pass. So let's, let's yeah, not yeah. pay attention to this guy. No, and the fact that the Khartoum could also do it, I say, all right, it's a trick, you know, it happens. Yeah, no, it's not yeah. Yeah, okay. So, but what again to the Paro's mindset because the way the Nisim look where they were fingers, fingers as opposed to a hand. Like isolated fingers. So even there were ten of them, so it's about some ten fingers. But each one's just a finger. Mm-hmm. Ah, it says, Hine Yad Hashem Hoya But you don't see that they saw the hand. Right? As opposed to by Kriyashyan said, Vayar Yisrael Sayyaragdola. They actually saw a hand. So, the so they only saw an etzba. Uh-huh. Etzba Lokimi. They only saw an etzba. Even though Betzim, it was a hand. Now, so now, take a look. The difference between a hand and a finger is, like we said, a, a hand is a claw, and a finger is a prat. Right. Now, take a look. You know how the, the difference of you know five actually represents the difference between the prat and the claw, right? Right, because uh, the claw has to be kolo, right? Uh, everything, you know, all its pratim, plus itself. That's what a claw has to be kolo, right? There's the musik of the claw. And the protem that's kailo, that's five. Why? Because uh, you know, uh, you know the, 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 uh, the diversity of, of the protem is represented by the number four. Because that's, you know, his pashtus. Right? On a flat space, you can move up, down, right, left. And any other direction is a combination of those four directions. Right? Mm-hmm. So general, like, you know... You know as you a, move up and down? No, you can't. Well, because we... Because expansion is expansion. Yeah, so I'll say the, uh, you know, in a flat space, on a flat surface, on a flat surface, right, you know, his spash is in four directions, like they say, ufaratsta, yamava kema, tsafonava negma, four directions, right? So it's like, you know, uh, there, as a word, you know, the, the different types of protim in the cloud would be four, or any coming within those four, and then there's the center that's connected to the cloud itself, that 
that's koilo all of them, that's ma'achet all of them, that even though they're, they have differences between them, so, you know, four, four different directions, each one is its own kivun, there's the point center that's ma'achet them under the same klau. And that's why five is not just, a, a, you know, an issue of quantity, being quantitative more than one, but there's also a, 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 a idea here. Right, and there's an idea that the isolated one is a prat. The isolated, you know, particle is a prat. And then there's the cloud that, you know, that, you know, is the center. That's koilo, a, a certain diversity of pratim under the same cloud. But they're all part of the same cloud. That's represented by number five. The diversity between the pratim, you know, is four. And then there's the nekuda achamishis, which is the, the center, the idea of the cloud itself that's common to all those pratim that makes them all nichlal in the same cloud. And that's, the, and that's what means that the yad is five times more than the finger. I mean, the finger in a vacuum, you only see a figure, you don't see the whole hand. All right, so that's, you know, that's the isolated prat, whereas number five represents the idea of the cloud. Right, uh, that's what I mean, chamisha chum teira. It's not a, it's not a uh, coincidence, you know, that, you know, it's all... It's all one safer, and yet you know it's all it's all chumish. It's all, and yet there's five a fiveness to it, and it's not a stira, right? That you know the uh, you know, each each one of the chumash has its own special character. I uh, connected the five times it says or by bries or, but it's all one safer. That's the chamisha chumshe tira. Right? It's all one all kedusha safer tira has that you know diversity of it. You know, there's one klal, and each one of the uh, the Sforum has its own, uh, its own unique character, mm-hmm. right? But it's all under the same cloud. Same cloud of Kedushas, Kedushas, you know, Taira, as opposed to Nevi'im and Ksuvim. Right? As an example, right? By Yamsuf, right, so it's an amazing thing. Water is not a prat. Water is a cloud. The end of Kriyas Yamsuf, Kol Shkein Lefi, Shitas Rashi, not just Yamsuf split, all the waters in the world split. But water, Kishula Atmo, already is a cloud. Right? It's not a prat. Eretz Mitzrayim is a prat. Right? It's, it's one place on the globe. So Mitzrayim's having a hard time. Right? Zayavor, you know, Mitzrayim's having a hard time. The rest of the world was Yoshev Beshalva. They had tranquility at time, you know, which also. Say so which uh, Paro says, you know, we're having a hard time here in Mitzrayim, Zayavor, because the rest of the world is not having a hard time. So, it, you know, we're having, uh, Yotzeb in a cloud, freak accent, it'll pass. Water, right, <laughs> right. Yam, you know, a, a ocean is a cloud, it's not a prat. Right, the, uh, the, you know, the, the idea of, of prat doesn't exist in water, because that's why there's no, uh, there's no singular term in Lush Akash water. Mayim, May. Yes, water is a claw. So now, it, it shouldn't be that if, if the nace is a yaitzim and a claw, it shouldn't be able to overcome the claw. Right? You know, a yaitzim and a claw means all right, it's, not, it's not part of the claw. Right? It's isolated. Isolated incident, and because it's isolated incident, it probably won't repeat itself. So just sweat it out, it'll pass. Right? But water is a claw. It's not a prat. And, and if the nace was goiver over the mayim, says the maral, right, as do the other svarim, right, it shows that the koach of nace is not yotzim min that teva is kilu the klau, nisim are freak accidents. So if a nace happens, don't worry about it, don't let it shake you up, because it won't happen again. Right? The fact that the nace was goiver on the mayim shows that there's koach of klau in nace. There's nothing freakish about a nace. It's 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 a cloud in its own right, right? But Am Yisrael and and the whole world didn't see that until Kriyas Yamsuf. That you know in Mitzrayim the Nisim looked like freaks of nature. And That's why Paro had the guts to chase after them, up to Yamsuf. He had the guts to chase after them. No, the oh, but that's that's very good. It's so very apropos. Came to Moshe. What? What's the shot? He came to Moshe. He saw the freak, freak accidents. Oh, look, he was panicking. But then he stopped panicking when the Mako was over. So the whole right. point of coming to Moshe is because he might be a sorcerer that could help? Yeah, I mean, listen, he, he was in pain, you know. 
you know, I didn't want to endure the pain any longer. But, you know, uh, but as soon as it stopped, he said, okay, it was. It passed through. Let's move on. <laughs> well, well, it's not, not wor- he wasn't worried about it recurring. He goes, it was a Yotzim in It was a Mikra. By Kriyas Yamsuf, of course, it was Megala, that Nisim and Lamala Minateva is not a Mikra at all. It's a Seder Mesudar in its own right. Just as Kavua, Kviya Vekaima as Teva itself. It's not a Yetzim in a Klau. It's a Klau. So the question is, you know, when people have their spiritual trips. Mm-hmm. They go to, you know, they go to Tibet or wherever, you know, then whatever. As in, in, in Hebrew, they call it Tofes Orot. You know, yeah. you see the lights, you know. But then you get back to reality, you know. So the question is, you know, you know, this Judaism thing, this Judaism thing, it's just a fad, you know, spiritual movement, you know, it's not a spiritual movement, and then eventually you get back to real life. Right? The Gilui by Kriyas Yamsuf was all about that the Lamala Minateva, the Ruchnius, it's not freak, it's not a, it's not a Yitzim in a cloud, and, and the person who's into spirituality is not Jesus, not, not just, as they call it, having a trip, but it'll get back home. No, it's not Yitzim in a cloud. It's a Seder in its own right. It's a Seder Mesudar, Ruchnius, the world of the Neshama, the Olama Elyon. It's, it's, it's a Mokom Mesudar that's perpetually there and perpetually functioning, even if you don't always see it perpetually. All right? Uh, so that's that's the Gilead of Yarsos Hayad. You see, it's a whole integrated system. Not you know, Ruchnius and the Koch of Nisim is a whole Seder Mesudar. It's a cloud. It is just as real and consistent as Teva. All right? Well, it's unlike what it has to be. What? It has to be twice in history. Once it's, uh, once it's, but it makes no difference if. No, no, but it makes no difference in if you... All of those cases were when Kali Shalom was there, and they needed it. They brought it. Yeah, but they yeah, had yeah. a claw from the and beginning. We had, and we, 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 we prayed. So we prayed back as long as we said, you don't have to pray. Yeah. yeah. We had the emotion after. If I, it doesn't matter if we'll never, if we will no. never see it again, but they realized by Yamsuf that Ruchnius and Lamala Minateva and everything, all these things, the spiritual stuff, you know, it, it's not something freaky. It's not something that's a deviation from nature, right? It's not something yeah, that. So it was created. Uh, it's yeah, a davar yeah. kavua. Whether you're seeing it both in kavua or not, it's a davar. It's a reality. It's just as real as the laws of physics, right? It's just as real as the laws of physics, right? But there's there's a uh, so there's a science of coming, and that's that's the gili by Yamsuf. That's the gilui, right? But but this gilui has like a, as a, there's there's another level to it. There's another level to it, right? Aside from coming to the recognition, right? That that lamala minateva nisim, you know, is 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 a seder in its own right. It's not a freak of a nature. That's what they realized that they had think of what they sang. Well, oh, it's coming to it. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it, it was a fun say. So, how does it fit in that the, the three times a week uh, Torah? Oh, well, we didn't answer everything. Yeah, we're going step by step, please, right? So, as so first, I'm saying that, and that was the gilui of Kriyas Yamsuf. That's hecher from the gilui of 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 of, of Nisei Mitzrayim, the Nisei Malyam. That's besod yad, understanding that the the koch eloki is a is a system, is a system, as real and as consistent. As the system of Teva. In Mitzrayim, they thought it was freakish accents, expos, fingers, protein. They see it's a whole cloud in its own right. right? right. The time to see it hadn't come yet. Right? I mean, that, that's what gave power you know, the guts to chase after B'nai Israel into Yamsuf, and then by Yamsuf, it's over. That's the final destruction of Mitzrayim. When, when the Lamala and the Nizgal is a cloud that's Kviya Vekaima. There's no getting back up from it, right? You get back up if you think it's, you know, it was a freak accident, a yotzim and a klau, but teva is the klau. No, we realize that the mount teva is just as much a real klau as, as teva, 
they realize it's here to stay and it, and it will come back and it will repeat itself. It's real. It's not a freak. It's real and, and consistent. But it gets deeper than that. So Yo was on the right point if this gets into the end of the Tanaim. Right? Right? That Yo, there, there's, there are these two systems the system of Teva and there's the system of Lamala Mina Teva. What's the relationship between the two systems? Right? Is one, okay. is, is one system machriv the other? That when there's teva, it's a chorbin to lamala mina teva, and when no. there's lamala mina teva, it's a chorbin for teva? <laughs> but, hey, you know, it's chorbin. You, you might think so, because the laws of nature are suspended when a nace happens. The one is kilo der shneit soros zula zu. They're like two enemies. Kishze kom zen neufel. That's what you might think. According to the guy, maybe. Right? Right, so like I said, there's, there's, you know, working past, you know, in the, in the, for lack of a word, the evolution of our ideas and our, mm-hmm. you know, you know, first to understand that Nisim and Lamalim and Ateva is just as real and just as consistent and just as ever present as Teva. But then there's understanding the relationship between the two. Right? That's like being worthy. Yeah. Well, understanding the relationship between the two. Is it that, that when a nace happens that it's machriv teva? No. That the two, the two, that because, you know, if you're saying they're both real. Temporarily it does. So, so Temporarily that, changes it, maybe. Temporarily it, 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 it no, so, reverses the law, law of the nature. So it does. It, 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 uh, yeah. Well, aren't there well uh, but, I, but I beg to differ. Yes. And what if it does, it turns rigid water when it freezes, but when it's... Who right. says it wasn't frozen? No, it didn't freeze. It, it wouldn't, you know, couldn't, you know, wouldn't some say that our body has a miracles it. happening every day? Yeah, but it, it could have been okay, that the, we're talk about part of the correct. miracle was, the, 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 um, um, was part of the problem them not learning motion, three yeah. days that they had gone through such an inspiring that event that led them to sink. Yes, and yes, you're 100% correct. You're 100% right. What, uh, that what? Uh, I mean, then we're going to talk about that this metamorphosis made it that now they can't, all of a sudden they can't go three days without learning Torah. We're going to talk about it. But I'm trying to get there step by step. Mm-hmm. So, because you understand, even though you know, we, we've, uh, we've, we've, we've uh, progressed to understand that Lamala Minateva is just as much a Seder Misudar and a clown in its own right as Teva, but if they are, if the Shtaim are Tsoros Zulazu, if they are, you know, if they then there's, it's perfectly legit to say, well, I'm with the Teva. I'm with the Teva. You know, if the two are oppositional, two oppositional starim, if you could imagine, which you understand, you wouldn't want to imagine that one God created two, uh, in God's universe, there's two oppositional systems, right? But, uh, but, uh, but more than that, me, me, tzad, me right, I'm going to have to choose if I'm with the Teva or if I'm with the Lamalim and the Teva. They're both equally uh, yeah, I, systematic. I always lives the Lamalim and the Teva. Mm-hmm. The we man exist the Lamalim and the Teva. Yeah. That's why the nest didn't happen until the Jews were there. And all the needs didn't happen only the Jews. That's 100% and correct. are in a status. And all that is shown today, the Lamalim and the Teva. Clearly, the Lamalim and the Teva exists. It fully exists today. The world all over, and uh, uh, there's small number of people there. And it's, 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 of course. But I'm, I'm, but I'm asking you. The first evidence is when the Jews came to, to, uh, to, the, to, yeah, to the Yam. So it's split. That's the Jews are the Jews. Okay. So, but I. Mean, that's how it exists in the world. No, no, we definitely in tap into the Malam and but I'm asking what's our perspective on the relationship. No, no, no. Between Teva and Nes, because I, because we have two kinds. If you want to say now, okay, there are two separate rule, systems. And I want to establish the rule that you're trying to establish the rule. Right. Establish the rule is that when the Jews need it, yeah, they get it. The more the more it. of this rule yeah. you have, the less, the less the more of this Teva you have, the less the amount of that Teva you can have. But the question is, is, does it have to be that way? You know, I mean, so you, you have limited resources. There is a condition. The condition is that you have to be willing to. Right. This mess doesn't happen with them. That's right. That is correct. I just that rule a long time ago in my mind. Yeah, but it's hard. The Chazal say it already. That's why when he went into Egyptian, right. he was most nefesh. But when his brother went in there, he wasn't most nefesh because he did it because he thought he was going to live. Then he died because he was most nefesh. 
agree. And not Simon Aminoza, Bon Mai Mai Nefes. I'm Avino with Bon Mai Mai Nefes. And that's the way it is. I, I, agree, I agree with you, I'm saying, but I want, to, I want to try to say it in my words. Yeah. That might be a little bit more, um, you know, might a little bit more scientific, right? right? And that is like this. So I just want to uh, rephrase the problem, right? That if you want to, so, because even after we accept that Lamal Menatev is a system in its own right, I still have, so now if we're going to accept that there's two systems that contradict each other, so we have a problem, Hain. Klape Shmaya and then Klape Didan, we have a problem. First of all, Klape Shmaya. Could we imagine that Kodesh Baruch Hu, you know, the one creator of the whole world, right, you know, will set up in his universe two oppositional forces that cancel each other? You know, that, you know, because uh, he wants Teva, Leheja, you know, Val Kim Kitov, it says by my Sabratius. And he wants Lamalam and Ateva, Yala Al Adas, that Rebosham can't decide. Right, Hare Shteid, Ose Shalom Bim Romov, and Chazal said, even on the Malachim, they even on Michal's Kulo Kerach, you know, and in Gabriel's Kulo Eish, Hakarish Bachu's Ose Shalom Bim Romov. Right, all the different Kochos, you know, get along, you know, uh, you know, in harmony and and not sacer each other. The same rule should apply to Teva and Nes. Right, but you also have a problem Mitzad the Odom, right, that the. Uh, if both are equally real, I should be allowed to choose which one I want. Exactly. You got it. Yeah. You guys are good tonight. You guys are. All right. Like the Neshama and Guf. Like the Neshama and Guf. Exactly. We're going to come on to that. All right. The, uh, you know, so I, but if, if there are two equally real systems and a contradiction, I have to choose one or the other. I can't have both. All right. So I, and, and it would be legit to choose one or the other. Right. Uh, it should be legit to choose Teva. It's a system that Koshko created and wants. You know, the uh, uh, you know. So on this, you know, Kene is the idea of the Tanai. This is the Indian. That Koshko's Masne with Maiseva, not because he needs permission, Chas Vashon. I mean, and this older Rishonim say that the Indian of the Tanai that exists between Teva and Nais, right, is the, uh, is, is, is the Pshat that it's an integrated system. There's a there's a there's a there's a shutfus between the teva and the nes, and you know. But Akoshu generally wants derech teva because that's where our mitzvahs work, you know. And that's you know, that's the arena, that's the playing stage for us to do what we do, to be metak in the world and to do our mitzvahs. You have need to live in the world olam hativi to do your mitzvahs, to have your lulav to shake, your sukkah to build, and you know, all these things. Ain't so Khanaanes. But when but a nace happens, whenever Amisol needs it, as Rutsi pointed out, when you need it, you get it. And it's already the fact that there's a tanai, so the fact that there's a tanai between the two systems shows it's an integrated system. And it's not the shot that, that nace is soicer teva. And not that teva soicer nace. They have, you know, each one, you know, each one, as it were, takes rain when it's the proper time. And that's the tonight that exists between the two systems, right? The tonight that exists between the two systems is as such, right? That uh, that you know the teva very much voluntarily, right? Seeds control, yields control to the nisim, and it's not called that the teva has been disrupted, because that would be called chorben ha'olam. It's not. It, it's it's all mechushban merosh. So it's not mitzvah that Akash needs Roshus, but Akash who wants an integrated world. And at the Teva and Nes, they work together. And whatever is for the greater good, that's the Mahalach that will be functioning. And, and most of the time, Teva is the greater good. Because in Teva, we have the opportunity to make a difference. Right? And do our mitzvahs and do our whatever good deeds we do. We don't have that opportunity in Lamala Min Teva. Right, but the two systems work together in harmony. Right? So, that, so then, therefore, there's no kind of uh, two differences. I have to choose one. No, no, no. They work together. And you do both. As, you know, just like they yield to each other, you also have to do whatever you have to do. Uh, you know, with, I, with either system, when the fee, what the tzorah hasha is. Right? But it goes one step deeper. Right? And this the uh, this the leshem, 
you know, points out. And, and this will answer, right, the, uh, you know, the question that we asked. What's for Yashav Yavifel's book? They told the Tanai was said when the water went back to being normal. You know, it's, it's deeper. Not only are they in cooperative relationship, but you should know, why is Teva so strong? Eitanea Teva, we say in Ivrit. You know, the, the strength, you know, the, the, and it's from this posse. Yashav Yavifel's book, Le'etano. It's natural to say it's called Eitan. The takfar recharge, takif. Why do people think miracles are impossible? Why do people, why in Mitzrayim and why does the scientific community, you know, the academics, Adayom Azeh, relate to miracles as freaks? And we don't have to worry about them because even if they happen, things happen that we can't explain, we're not worried because it won't happen again tomorrow. It's a Yitzim and a Klau. Why do people think, why, why are people so against Nisim? Because the Teva seemingly is so strong. So I'm going to ask you a question. Where did Teva get its strength from? It seems like the laws of physics are just... I can't imagine them changing. Teva applies all the time. Ness is only in certain instances where the stars have to align. Everything has to be in the right thing. Stars that have needed, the that the there's a whole lot of things that have come to Teva doesn't need anything. Teva, water flows all the time. You know, there's no conditions about it. I understand. But where would that strength come from? You're going to say that a mess is also Teva, the splitting of the sea is also in a Teva, because it was designed as so. Right. Nisim are just as natural as Teva. But you know, we see Teva all the time, so aside the fact that that's what we're used to, but they, it is strong. Me and you can't change Teva, because, right? But uh, where did that I'm strength come you, from? I'm saying that the mess is the exception. It's the unique thing, it's the exception. Uh, that's see, why it appears to be an exception, even though it was created originally. Right. It's unpredictable. Teva, by right. its nature, is predictable. Yes, yes. I don't know if that's answering any question. No, no, I, I, no. It's, 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 I'm sorry explaining the idea. Right. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, it's, it's you know, just saying why we fall into this trap of thinking that Teva is unchangeable. But I, I'm asking, like, there, there's just the, the simple perception. Because if I argue with someone, I'll say, well, you, it's only because you're used to Teva and you're just not used to the idea of Ness, right? So he'll argue and say back, but Teva is strong. There's, there's the law of gravity that me and you can't change, right? There's all the other laws of, of physics, you know, and uh, thermodynamics. And so the question is, where did that strength come from? It's true. There's etane ateva. Etan, that's a law from etan, oh, it's natural state. It's called etan, strong. I created it that way. Well, it's, it's deeper than that, Rup Tzvi. Says the Lesh, uh, you know why teva is so strong? Because it's yonik, it's power from nisim that not only is there a cooperative relationship between Teva and Lamala Mina Teva, but the Lamala Mina Teva, like anything that's Lamala, it's Zan and Mefarnes, it gives Shefa to what's beneath it. The Lamala Mina Teva gives Shefa to the Teva. You get it? The Teva gets its power on loan from the dimension of Nisim. That's why Teva is so strong. Is what an energy source for energy source for, for nature is the same energy source. When it comes from God, everything comes from God. Right, but it comes through a yishtalshulis, right? Chain reaction. You know, the spheres give it to the malachim, and the malachim give it to the kochavim, and, and like what we learn in you know all the svarim and like Dar Hashem, there's a totem pole of reality as the shefa goes midarga ledarga, gavoa mal gavoa shomer, and the shefa comes down, you know, through all the different levels. The koach of Teva comes from Lamala Mena Teva. Nes sustains Teva. The, the Nes that you don't see, right, is, is what's sustaining the natural order. And that's why it's so strong. It's power on loan from Nisan. Right? So that he says that's the Pshat in the Tanai. The Tanai is the Pshat that Teva will be so strong, Al Tanai that it's never against the Nisim. And the minute that there's a conflict, like Amisor by Yamsuf, if the water stays liquid, they'll drown. 
And now there's a, there's a conflict between that and Tachlis Abriya. The Teva immediately goes limp. Goes limp. It loses Eitanut because his Eitanut is out Tanai. That's why Eitan is Lushen Tanai. It's just Tanai. It's Eitan out Tanai that always be in line with Ratzon Hashem. The minute that you know that the uh, Teva is not Kfi the Tanai, it loses. No, it's at the whole point. No, 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 because no, because that's what the Tanai is. It will be a Tan Al Tanai. It will be strong Al Tanai. That performs a miracle, right? Al Tanai that it's not soicer. The Tachlis that our Kodesh Baruch Hu wants. So again, it should happen when the miracles happen, not when it's No, because the, no, the, 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 the Tokef, the Eitanut of Teva is al It's Yoinik from the Nisim Koach. Right? But al Tanai, al Tanai. Because they can't be together, because if they be at the same time, they'd be sister each other. If there was ever be a stira, because if, if the if the waters would have remained liquid, Amis would sort have of drowned, and that would be a stira to the tachlis abria of Bishul Yisrael, right? So therefore, it was only a tan al tanai, and therefore, when it at that moment when when it, the tanai is broken, it loses its etanut. But now Amiso doesn't need a nace anymore. So Yashav of Voker le'etano goes back to its strength, which it has al tanai. Mm-hmm. It has its strength. Al tonight. No, that the miracle doesn't. That, that what, right. Al tonight, that, you know, that so long as it serves the Tachlis out of Bria. But it means that, it means that there's a stira between it and the Tachlis of Bria. Mm-hmm. It goes limp, and the Nisim take over. I'm having a lot of trouble with the logic of that because it's, a, it's not answering any questions, it's making the question stronger. Why it would not have been the strong in the word tonight when it went up? No, no, because because it is only liquid al tanai, the koach of eight eight that the law that water flows to the lowest point is only al tanai. It's a double tanai. It's a tanai. I mean, it's it's al tanai that that it will never be soys or tachlis abriya. Right, but it comes out. It comes out that the nisim are mefarnes teva. So not only is there not a stira between the two marachot. Right, but the marechet of of lemalam and ateva is the is the shirish and the makor for teva, but only al tanai that the teva never be soiser tachlis abria. So this could kind of be looked at the other way too. When teva is not performed one hundred percent, means that there wasn't a nace for it to get energy from. I mean, it, it goes limp, and the nace now runs the show alone. Exactly. Uh, the, but the Nes generally gives koch to the Teva. The Marechet Hanisit gives ma- koch to the Marechet HaTivit. al al that the Marechet HaTivit be sufficient lefi tachlis abriya. But if there is a stira with tachlis abriya, right? Mm-hmm. right then, so then the Teva loses its etanut, and the Nes takes over and runs everything alone. So now Rav Zevin in the Sefer Latar of Lamodim points out an amazing thing that the Medaktikim in Chochmas Adiktuk they said that the Oisias that make Loshan Atid right make Loshan Osid are Osios Eitan Eese Yaase Taase Naase all those Oisias Aleph Yud Tav Nun right is all Loshan Atid because because. Teva will always be a tan if it's maskim to the destiny. If it's maskim to destiny, but if the water, if, if but if, if, if but if the laws of, of 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 physics would remain in place, it will be a stira to destiny, right? Because it will be soiser am Yisrael. That's the tachlis abria. So everything it has, it's it has its etanut al tnai that's maskim to the destiny, to the osid, right? You know, to the tachli ta'atidi. Right, and Mimela, right? All this is expressed in the so Mimela. The Gemara says in Menachos like this. We're coming full circle now, right? Ki beko Hashem tsuroi That with the name Ka, Hashem will created two worlds. With the Yud, he created the Olam Elyon, and with the Hey, he created the Olam Atachtoi. Right? 
right? So the uh, the uh, so Kayadua, you know, the Olam Elyon is where the Olam is where is where the Neshama is from, and that's where Nisim are from. And the Olam uh, Olam Atachton, that's Nivra Behezel, like Olam Azen, and Gemara Menachem gives so many, uh, you know, you know, parallels between the Ois Hey and Olam Azen. You know, it's open at the bottom. It's easy to fry out, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you could go back in on the side. You could do tshuva. You know, the Gemara is marich already. All the illusions. Now, but you know, the two together, they belong together. They make Shem Hashem. But more than that, one knows that the Yud is the Yud of Ish, and He is the He of Isha. That Zochu Shechina Shruya Benehem, Zivug. And that's supposed to be the relationship between Teva and Nes. And that was Nizgale by Kriyas Yamsuf. That we saw that Teva and Nes are bezivug. They, they cooperate, not, they complement each other. And just like the man is Mepharnas the woman, as Mashpia to the woman, the, the, uh, the Teva, the Nes is Mashpia to the Teva. And that's the side. Koshin Zivugam Shal Adam Kriyas Yamsuf. Kriyas Yamsuf reflects on the Zivug because Kriyas Yamsuf was, ref- was the Gilui. That the Olam El Yon and the Seder of Nisim is Mizdavig with the Seder of Teva. Right? And you know what this is in the Adam? That's the relationship between Neshama and Guf. Right? The Neshama is from that Olam that was never a Biyud. And the Guf is a biochemical. He got it. He got it. The guf is a biochemical entity f- from that world that was created with hay. And this, by the way, the Zoyar says, is Marich in Parshas Chaye Sara. The relationship between guf and neshama is a Zohar Nekeva relationship, like Ish Isha, like Ish, who has the Yud, and Isha has a hay. The, the Shama and guf have a Zohar Nekeva relationship. And everything that says about how Avram took care of Sarah and was Masar, that's the neshama crying over the guf by the Levaya, the, the Medrash HaNel and Parshish Chayit Sarah, works out the parallels perfectly. Because you, know, you have the Yud from Shemaim and the and you know, the, the Neshama from Shemaim from the Olam that was Nivra Beyud, right? And the Guf from the Ard that was Nivra Beyud, that was Nivra Behei, right? So now, when those two, uh, so you have to understand how Am Yisrael got affected personally that the metamorphosis that happens to them is paralleling the metamorphosis that's happening in the cosmos. That just like in the cosmos, it was Nizgale, that the, that the, oh, that, that, uh, that the oh, Nisim are a Seder in their own right. Not less than Teva, but more than that, that this Seder of Nisi is Mizdavik with the Teva and gives Koach to the Teva. They work together. The Teva bows before Nisim when necessary, and the Teva gets its strength from the Nisim, right? So that also has, you know, parallel to that, you know, people didn't even know they had a Neshama before Yitzhak. What's a Neshama? I only see the body, right? And then you realize that your Neshama is just as real as your Guf, right? And then it goes even deeper. That now is your Neshama just as real as your Guf, your Guf gets its Chiyas, and it gets everything it has from the Neshama. And when you realize that, you could start importing within your body kuchas from your neshama, which is the tachlis of, of, of all our mitzvahs and all our vos Hashem is to amplify the neshama within guf, to be mashpia to the guf, right? Be mashpia kedusha within the guf, right? And there's two types of thoughts. There are thoughts that come because the brain is a machine that calculates and chimpanzees could also have, you know, they're pretty impressive chimpanzees, dolphins, right? And, you know, but then there are machshavas that are a gilui of the neshama. You know why you have this thought in your head? Because like it says in Nefshachayim, the neshama sent nitzutzim, right, to your mayach. And that gives you the ability to be maven ha and to have Havana about Inyonim El like a Kurdish Baruch, like we learned in the Rambam in the Mara, that Salam Elokim of the Ottoman is the Koch HaSaga, which is the Koch of the Neshama in Guf. It's not the Koch of, 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 of knowledge of the biochemical brain. Right? It's something from the beyond. Right? That's the Pshat that they said Shira by Kriyas Yamsuf. That's the Pshat. They started feeling the Koch of their Neshama within their Guf. Just like in the Olam, you appreciate that the Koch of Nes is just as real as Teva, and now is it just as real Teva? It's Mashpia to Teva. Mm-hmm. Right? The, in the, in the Klaiso, they understood they have a Neshama, and their Neshama is just as real as the Guf, and their Neshama is Mashpia to the Guf. 
and the gilu of, of the of the hashefa of the neshama within the guf, right, is primarily machshava. You have holy thoughts, hasogas of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, hasogas of value, right, 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 and that's the pshat. Allah belibo shiyasha v'shar. It was a gili of machshavas like they never had before. It's not the normal, like, think before you do. Like, lather, rinse, repeat. Right, you know, you think that before you actually wash your hair. Right? This was like, you know, Allah belibo shiyashir. Right? It was like, a, it got shefa of machshavas kedoshas from the neshama. The portal between neshama and guf opened up. And they got those machshavas. And that's what it means, hayud, that from which was nivra oilam al shema machshava. They got machshavas from the oilam that was nivra bayud. Right, machshavas that are coming mikoach the neshama. That's the pshat shira. The Zoyer says, you know, the Nefesh Chaim explains in Shar Beis that shira has a special level of machshava that dibur doesn't have. Right, the special musical movements that are called ta'amim. Besod my taima. The reason it's omek machshava. And that's shira that there's the koach. And that says and it says and is are that the oisias are connected guf, right? And the Nakudas are connected, you know, are connected, you know, the you know, the ruach, the nefesh, and, and the tamim are connected neshama, neshama, and that's how you get omeka machshava, right? And that's why tam musical movements also were like my taima, like the omek. What's the depth of it? You know, they so they start singing the gilui hatamim, the omek hatam that comes from the neshama, what the neshama is mashpia to the moach. And that's why Kenegida and the Sefer Torah is written with a lot of revach. We learned today, we keep on speaking about the Rashi in Parshveiko. What does revach represent? His boinanus. So all the revach that there is and how it's written in the Klaf of the Torah represents all the tosefet machshava, and which is the amkusa machshava that is in the musical movement that's above and you know, above what the literal meaning of the word, the tosefes, the maitaima. The reasons behind the words, the machshav b'anurot, that's nizgal in the tamim of the nigun. Right? That's connected omeka machshava that's coming from the neshama that was being nizgal. And that's why it's remez l'tchiyas ha-meisim min ha-tayra. Remez l'tchiyas ha-meisim min ha-tayra because you know, uh, when you realize that the neshama and guf are not a stira to each other. And just the, now they seemingly are a stira. First you have to even come to the realization that your neshama is just as real as your guf. But then after that, you still think it's like two tsaros, zula zu, because that comes in neifel. But then you realize, no, it's not that way. The neshama is zon mefarnes the guf. And when you come to Asoga, you understand tchias amesim, that the neshama will come back to the body, that the neshama is being mashpia to the body this time around to prepare it for tchias amesim, where it's going to come back permanently. You understand that the lamala menatavah, the neshama that comes from the olam that was nivra biyud, and the guf that comes from the olam that was nivra bay, they belong together. A zivuk. Like, like ki ish vi ishto. Royal of basar echad. And that they're, they're meant. They're meant to get. They're meant to be together. So, so the, fact that, the fact that people die is basically to see if the, the, the tie, the actual uh, binding between them, is a binding that's supposed to last. Yes, because even the dying is almanas for trias amesim, just to get out the bad stuff, the the mashcha, the chavia, the zuma that the nochash matul chava comes out with the chibur akever, and then the body is rebuilt only with the good stuff, and then the ziva could be bishlemus. Right now, the zivuk is only partial, but the zivuk that you have now between the Shem and Guf builds the potential for Tchias Amesim. Mm-hmm. So it is Gilui that the Shem and Guf belong together as well. So where it passes, the Remes of Tchias Amesim, which is when the, how they belong together is actualized fully, Lenetzach Netzachim. Mm-hmm. And now we come full circle, right, to what we opened up with. Before Kriya Sansov, Amiso couldn't feel their Neshama. They maybe believed they had a neshama, even maybe even Mitzrayim, they believed they had a neshama. You know, power didn't believe in Ruchnius at all. It's all Yetzim and Akla. So it's Nizgal, your neshama is just as real as the guf, but now is your neshama just as real as the guf, but your neshama belongs with your guf and is mashpia to your guf. Now they feel their neshama already after it was opened up, and that's the Pasach, the Pasach Beshira, right? That's also Pasach Beshira. There's an opening of the mind. And the chef of the neshama comes through, and, and that the you know the nigun of ta'amim is made midoshin omekatam ta'ame Torah that comes from the neshama. Now they feel their neshama, 
After Kriya, they feel their neshama, and because you feel your neshama, you can't go three days without learning. But before, they didn't feel their neshamas. Go their whole lives away. The neshama is hungry for Tyra. The kuf isn't. But once you feel the neshama, <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh, neshama yisera, right, right. Within the guf, neshama yisera within the guf, and that's why you can eat more. <laughs> you feel your neshama. So I said, right, and that's why the two together, Shabbos shira, the two ideas complement each other. That is a very special Shabbos. The end of Shabbos and Jones. So he says, is also it's a revach ben parsha le parsha to to feel your neshama, and is and shira is when you feel your neshama, and if it's Shabbos shira, oh, it's just magic. Right. So that, that's all the, also the reason why they Moshe take, Rabbeinu teaching that they should read the Torah, but it's not the reason they should read. By the way, we only see ourselves here and see the young people. You know that. Yeah, yeah. that's an interesting point. There's no such thing as mirrors the young people. Everyone says green blood says. But how would you see this? How can we see ourselves if we don't see young people? Yeah. Yes, Reb Nata. Reb Nata. Yeah. I can tell you. Okay. No. No. So what do you say? Ms. Moshe, very good. She wrote it's, Kuffel. It's a very nice thing for us to Yeah. Because it's a Ruchti of Shabbat. Shabbos, Shabbos feeds the Neshama more than it feeds the Guf. Right. The Guf is only is secondary to the Neshama of Shabbos. Admiration more than the Neshama of Shabbos? He said, Pasuk Varm is Neshama of Shabbos, yeah. When he found out about uh, Teshuva? Right. Right. There's always hope. Everything's connected. Everything's connected. Right. All right, sir. Right. Thank you for coming. Uh, Fine. So uh, next week we won't be meeting, but uh, you know, but but, but I'll see you next week Thursday at Blavis. I'll see you tomorrow night at Blavis also. Enjoy. 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 Enjoy.